Montpellier had been slowly improving before the international break. Four points from two games. A debut in this one for the young teenage winger Morgan Sanson in the home lineup. Their opponents, Reims, though, aside in decent form as well. This clash at the Stade de la Mosson promised uh, plenty for the uh, rather paltry crowd in attendance. The 2012 champions up against the Reims side who had to battle to stay up uh, last season but are looking to kick on now under Hubert Fournier. Of course, Reims, one of French football's uh, most famous names. The glory days well in the past now for them. Montpellier on the attack in the opening stages. Benjamin Stombouli with the shot beaten away by Cossi Agassa as uh, Jean Fernandez, the Montpellier coach, uh, looked on from his dugout. Fernandez, the man who replaced René Girard at the helm in the summer. It's been a difficult start to the season for Montpellier. They had to play PSG and then Monaco in the opening weeks. But a decent draw at Nice last time out. And they might have got the breakthrough here through Siaka TNA, the former Paris Saint-Germain fullback who scored a fine free kick in that draw with Nice. Denied on that occasion by the Togolese goalkeeper Kossi Agassa. Gary Bocali watching from the stands. Montpellier still missing a few players here. They've had one or two disciplinary problems uh, at the start of the season. Anthony Mounier among those sidelines due to suspension for this match. At the other end, Gaëtan Corté denied. A terrific save that by Geoffrey Jordrain who is back in the Montpellier team after injury. And uh, a welcome return for the Montpellier goalkeeper. What a save that was from Gaëtan Corté who was partnered in attack here by Gaëtan Charbonnier. Striker signed from Montpellier in the summer after just one season with the club from the southwest of France. Jordrain uh, again called into action there, diving low to uh, help keep out that free kick from Aysa Mandy. This match ultimately one of not too many chances. May have uh, promised plenty but didn't deliver too much. Benjamin Stombouli again trying his luck in the second half but this effort dragged wide and that perhaps uh, summed things up in the second half. And there was still time for uh, Reims to create one last opportunity. Montpellier dispossessed in midfield. And look out for the substitute Nicolas de Preville, a very promising young player brought in midway through last season by Reims from the second tier club. Istre has a big future ahead of him. Might have got the breakthrough there for Reims late on, but it wasn't to be a second consecutive goalless draw for Hubert Fournier's side, but they'll be happier with this result. 0-0 at the Stade de la Mosson.